What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. On Fridays, we take a look at celebrity or influencers or whatever you really want to call them. We're taking a look at their home gyms. I think this is going to be a fun thing to do. I've only done one so far. It was Alpha M and it was like a hundred years ago. But today we're going to take a look at Matt Does Fitness's home gym. Putting an apostrophe S on that does sound a little weird. But anyways, we're going to take a look at his home gym. I think this video has like 1.4 million views, so I'm assuming the gym must be pretty cool. Either way, we're gonna check it out though. If you like home gyms, you have a home gym, or you want a home gym, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're shooting a post three times per week, so let's get into it. Hello and welcome to another video, and after months of hard work, the gym is finally finished. <laughs> Just a live. It's only finished today, right? So calm down. I was gonna wait until it was all done and to show you in its completed form, but I figured you've been there for like every step of the process up to this point, so it'll be a shame for you not to be involved in the last couple of finishing touches, you know? Now, before we get the day started, for those of you that haven't seen the previous gym videos or just have a terrible memory, here's a quick recap of what's happened to get us to this point. Perfect. We're gonna have a recap to kind of keep us up to speed. I honestly don't really know who Matt does fitness is. I know he has a pretty big uh, following on YouTube and I'd assume across other social media platforms, but his house looks pretty sweet and his backyard is big. So it looks like they built an entirely separate building for the home gym, which is very cool. So the spot where the gym currently sits used to be home to a summer house type thing, which we knocked down then extended the foundations off to allow for the gym. We used one of the existing walls from the summer house and built a timber frame to form the rest of the structure, which we clad in ply and covered with a plastic membrane so it getting down. Then we put the roof joists up, insulated it, covered it in rubber, put screed down to level out the existing floor, and while that was drying, we covered the external walls with a breathable membrane to protect the wood. We then cleared out the inside and covered the entire floor in a leveling compound, put the aluminium cladding up on the corner of the outside, followed by the cedar cladding which covered the rest of the building. We plasterboarded and plastered the inside walls, painted them white white to like just an undercoat, then painted on the main color, which is kind of like a dark gray. Finally, we fitted the lights, window, and doors, and then laid the rubber gym flooring, carried all the equipment down, built a perimeter around the outside of the gym, which we then filled with shingles. And that brings us up to now. <laughs> okay, first off, I appreciate how quick that recap was. That was incredible. But looks like a pretty sweet building, at least. So I'd assume everything that's inside is gonna be just as nice. Very cool, I like the pine color with the black accent. In today's video, where we're finally gonna finish the gym off once and for all. Now, usually at this point, I'd remind you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, we're trying to get two million subscribers, yada, 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 but I figure that's not necessary anymore. You know, I know you guys always like the video. I haven't got to tell you to subscribe. Obviously, you're gonna do that. Like, can you imagine someone watching my videos and not subscribing? How weird would that be? Anyway, today's gonna be sick. I'm well excited. Yeah, how weird would that be, guys? But before we get started, there's a few pretty significant changes that have taken place since you last saw the gym. So first things first, I put this row of slabs down because the shingle was getting a little bit annoying to walk on. Plus I found people kept like treading and like kicking it into the gym, which is obviously irritating. So I found these slabs knocking about like down in the front of our house, laid them out. Looks pretty cool, right? Now if we step into the gym, there's a few changes that have taken place in here. The first things first, we've got blinds, one for the window and one for the door, obviously. Having natural light is sick in some cases, but if you're trying to get pictures and videos, having a big source of light coming behind you absolutely kills the shot, which is obviously far from ideal. And on the topic of getting pictures and videos, I've got these glass mirrors installed and they're friggin' sick. If you remember in the last video, I went for acrylic mirrors. In hindsight, it was a massive mistake. They were like super bumpy. It was like friggin' circus mirrors. So we've got glass in the end, got them fitted and they look friggin' nuts. Like with the aid of my incredible gym lighting, you can get disgusting physique shots in this gym. Now. Oh, before I go any further, I should probably say, that is some really good lighting. It definitely is. I know the echo in here is terrible. I'm currently speaking to an acoustic panel company who are gonna hopefully sort me out and then it should be significantly better. Moving on, all of the exciting additions to the gym have kind of happened down this end. So first things first, we have the dumbbell rack. And I said on my Instagram story, the day that I arrived was pretty much the most satisfying moment of my life. I have dumbbells going from 10 kilos up to 50 kilos in two and a half kilo increments. I also have two and a half, five and seven and a half there hidden behind the rack, to be honest. Anyone that lifts those dumbbells in my gym immediately he gets evicted. I also have a second bench, so in addition to my main bench that I use for bench press, I have this bad boy that I now use for dumbbell press and all kinds of, I don't know, dumbbell stuff. It's the same as the other one, it's a bulldog bench. Honestly, the best bench I've ever used. I friggin' love it. Over in the corner here, I have a dual cable. So I've never heard of Bulldog Fitness. Uh, I believe Matt Does Fitness lives in the UK. So that's probably where Bulldog Fitness is. And that's why I haven't heard of it because I don't live over there. But it seems like pretty good stuff. The dumbbells look legit. And it's pretty awesome to have a full row. They look like a commercial grade dumbbell, so I'm here for it. 
pulley, which is absolutely amazing. Like, I haven't got any other machines in the gym. It was hard for me to justify putting like a chest fly or a machine row in a gym of this size. Obviously, those things take up a lot of room and they cover like one exercise. So this bad boy for me kind of does everything and it's absolutely ideal. And then lastly, fairly unexpected. Very wise words there. Functional trainers are often the way to go. They're so versatile and they take up not very much room. Like for example, I had that reverse hyper in my home gym. I could have easily put a functional trainer in that same space and it would have been a lot more versatile. Uh, mainly for doing cable curls as well as cable pushdowns. Really that's the only thing that matters about them, but they are great. Exciting, but still pretty friggin' useful. I have an air conditioning unit. It was surprisingly hard to find a black one, but I got one. I think it's LG. It's also a massive like compressor unit that goes over outside. But it just means that when it's hot, like I'm not gonna be absolutely sweating out and making the gym go moldy. And when it's cold, which let's face it, in the UK is pretty much every day, I can make it a good temperature in here and it should be nice. And that is pretty much that. I think that's all the changes that have taken oh. place since you last saw it. The plan today is to finish off the last 5% and get the whole gym done. So that includes Building a cupboard in that corner there, a nice black unit just to contain all of the shit I have in that corner, the fuse box, everything else. And then moving over here, I'm getting a massive half squat rack delivered today. I'm well excited mm. for that. We're then gonna build to match this deadlift platform, a squat platform to kind of slide into it. I then also wanna stain that wood and the wood for the squat platform just to make it a little bit dark because I feel like it's quite kind of bright and it kind of kills the shot a little bit. So Will and Mario, aka everyone's favorite builders are gonna be here any minute now. I'll catch up with you when they get here. So it looks like most of the gym, the rack as well is Bulldog Fitness. Is it Bulldog Fitness? Hopefully I'm not saying that wrong. Everyone's favorite builders are gonna be here any minute now. Bulldog Gear, I apologize, Bulldog Gear, not Bulldog Fitness. Very cool. So. I, to be honest, kind of thought this was a full home gym tour, and I guess he did cover everything that's in there right now. So I'm gonna react to what the setup is right now, and then we're gonna skip forward and see that rack that he was talking about. So far, I like the simplicity of it, to be honest. Everything in there is really clean. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff he could add in there if he wanted, but he pretty much has everything you quote unquote need. So a full set of dumbbells, which is very cool. He has a functional, tra a functional trainer, as well as the rack. Honestly, there's not really anything else you would need. If it were me, I would like to have a actual lat pull down in there, uh, just cause I don't really like doing that on a functional trainer, but you could also just do pull ups. So I totally get that. Hmm. Yeah, pretty, pretty clean setup. I really like the lighting, the whole facility, the building itself is incredible. So let's skip forward and we'll see what he adds to it. All right. Okay, here we go. From right now is to christen this squat platform, so let's go. So it looks like Bulldog Gear again. They have the bumper plates, they have the racks. Looks like they're probably the UK equivalent of like Rep Fitness or maybe even Rogue. Kind of hard to tell in a video, but looks like pretty legit stuff. Probably not the same as Rogue, but you get what I'm saying. It looks like it's a bolt-in pattern down here, but the benefit of that is that you don't have to bolt into the floor and the hardware is ginormous. Interestingly, it does look like the supports are at an angle, which is different. I would have liked to see those come across like a regular support so that they have the holes so that you could do um, attachment stuff up there. Or not that I really know what you would attach up there, but you'd at least have the option. All right. Oh, I missed it. We missed it. Okay, so I live in the United States and that means I don't know what that is in pounds. So I'll do the math for you real quick. Don't worry. Don't worry. 572. Very nice. Very nice. He moved that pretty easily. Oh. I'm going to 
gonna tidy up and then when it's good to go, I will give you a full gym tour. So get ready for the greatest home gym the world has ever seen in three, two, one. Try your luck, test me in again, we let it rain. Kids don't start us up, got that black and white, that yin and yang. It's the officer, please don't search us, we don't got a thing. Tell her park it up, then that ass be poking up them. And just like that, the gym is finally finished. All the hard work has paid off. Like, I, I genuinely love it. It sounds cheese AF, but like, this is the. Okay, uh, obviously he was joking about the greatest home gym ever, or at least I'd assume so. I think, I feel like I recall seeing some back and forth in some comment sections of him talking to uh, Basement Brandon. So if he knows Basement Brandon, obviously that was a joke about the gym being the greatest home gym ever because Basement Brandon's is much more elaborate. But like I said earlier, I really like the aesthetic of it. I love the building itself. I think that's incredible. It looks fantastic. And I think you totally nailed it on this one. Nice, simple setup, not too much. Some of the things that, if we're being honest, happens in the home gym community is we end up getting a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily need. And now a lot of people are gonna agree with that, even if they have a lot of extra stuff. And I'm totally in the same boat. You don't have to just buy the things that you need. It's your life. You can spend your money on what you want. And if buying a bunch of random home gym stuff that's maybe a little excessive is what makes you happy, then by all means, definitely do that. So don't take that the wrong way about me saying that a simple gym, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's also not a knock on more elaborate gyms either. So anyways, very cool gym. I'm glad that he posted that on YouTube so that we could have a chance to check it out. What I want to do now, real Good quick. Good morning and welcome to an- We're gonna go to his page and we're going to see if he has uploaded any other home gyms. Oh, okay, big home gym upgrade. Good so morning we'll and welcome to another video. And it's all kicking off. Just had a call from the delivery guys. There is a big pal- Okay. And as if by magic, here she is, Beverly. I'm calling her, no, is that a good name? Female name, Fanny. I'm gonna call her Fanny, <laughs> one absolute beauty. This is my new, I gotta get it, seated leg extension, leg curl machine. Uh, hey, one. so again, Bulldog Gear, evidently that is the brand to go to over there. Has the leg extension and leg curl and a pin loaded version, which I don't believe I've seen before. That's very cool. To be alive. It's not time to be alive. Andy, get better now. I'm not filming any more of that weird stuff that you. <laughs> what? What's wrong with me? <laughs> machinery. People like that stuff. It's the 21st century. In fact, if you don't like it. If you don't like the video right now, subscribe to my channel. The rest of this video will just be a slow mo montage of me licking stuff. All right. Okay, I'm skipping forward through this a little bit. I don't want the video to be too long. I'm just seeing if he's upgraded anything. Whoa, very cool sign on the back wall though. That looks cool. And then we see obviously the new platforms. I agree that was a good upgrade for him. That looks nice. Now we're just working out. All right, so that is that. Okay, so like I said earlier, awesome gym. Very, excuse me, very well built looks aesthetically pleasing, all the colors match. And it's also kind of rare to see all the same brand, which I think is pretty cool. If you have one brand that has enough stuff in stock that you can do your whole gym through them, it's kind of cool to do, have a little bit of brand loyalty, but yeah, I like it. If you want to see your home gym on the Garage Gym Gains YouTube channel, go to the link down below and go to the website. It's gonna say, Something about click down below to get your video on the channel. So once you do that, it'll take you to the graduategames.com website. Up in the top corner, you'll click it and it'll go to submit your gym. There's a few steps to follow and then you just submit the form with your gym. It's really that simple. Just make sure your video is not listed as private, at least listed as public or unlisted. Either one will do fine if I have the link, so. That's enough of me ambling on. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.